Hey, how you doing? My name's Sean, and uh, we, together with uh, my friend JD and my son Levi up there on the roof. Where are you, bud? Uh, All right, he's up there somewhere. Did you call me your friend? I did. Oh, man. Yeah, this is my friend JD. I'm uh, not sure ready for that commitment yet, but... Okay. I'm trying to start the intro of the video. Hey, my day. Anyway, we are uh, installing solar on this sport truck. Uh, 3,000 watts is the goal. I think we're going to be able to get there. Uh, what else are we doing? Um... Three of these uh, giant epic batteries there, the 230 amp hour batteries, and that's because it's a 24 volt system. Uh, follow along if you wanna figure out how we put it all together, how we get it all in there. Uh, we've got the whole thing pretty much ripped apart, and I'm gonna show you everything that we're doing, and hopefully if you watch long enough, it'll be done. So pretty much this project is not gonna get done unless you watch all of it. Okay, so first off, what are we putting in here? Again, three of these uh, Epic uh, Elite batteries, 24 volts. Uh, Levi configured these, all the dip switches and stuff. So they're going to communicate together as if they were one battery. And then I think we are going to connect that into the servo system, but we are going to be using a smart shunt. The reason why we want to do that is that's going to give us uh, time to go and some other Victron specific features with the battery. Then all the stuff that you see here, all of this is going to be going into that compartment that JD there is preparing because we're about ready to slide it in. And for some reason, he doesn't want to damage this weather strip there. So uh, it's not the weather strip, it's that uh, aluminum edge in there because that right. can fold pretty easily. So we want to make sure that that doesn't get damaged. Yep. Uh, we did have to relocate some of the, uh, the light, the switch, the tire thing there because that board is taking up a lot of the space in there. And then the batteries are going to go in the middle there and we're going to wrap those in uh, some sort of compartment. Customer said that would be just fine. So that's what we're going to do. That's, I think that's it. All right, yeah, then, and then we're done. Except we're done. Except not. Oh, uh, so, so inside here, let me show you around in there. A uh, little tricky, a little tricky. Uh, we've got a compartment or a panel pulled apart here. We did have to do that because I had to drill or make a couple of holes here to get solar and uh, the cord down for the servo display. We're going to put that right here. So to get that there, we're going to have to run an HDMI down here, then into the bathroom, underneath that cabinet, underneath the bathtub, or the not the bathtub, the shower, then into that compartment, and then we're going to, tra we're going to transport you uh, to the other side here. Just give me a moment. Here we are on the back side of that wall. It's going to come down here and into this uh, kind of this utility area here and run underneath the underbelly underneath there and then pop up over here and that's where we're going to make all of our connections there uh inverters are gonna there's gonna be cables that run from that over there as well it's a lot to get done not a lot of time we're trying to do it good and efficiently and then up there levi has been uh, hard at work we're putting 12 of these 250 watt 24 volt uh, rich solar panels. These are really good. We really, really like them. All right, up here on the roof, Levi's been hard at work. He uh, removed the factory solar panel over there. That is gone. And we're gonna be, ch believe it or not, we're gonna fit 12 solar panels up here. There's gonna be nothing but solar. Uh, there should be enough room to walk around a little bit here or there, but not much room for else. Yep. Um, you should still be able to uh, maintain and access your air conditioner here too as well. Um, and then uh, we added the second solar port there. There is an existing solar port that that was connected to, and we're gonna utilize that. So this is gonna be in two separate arrays, probably back half, front half. Keep it That's nice and easy. Thinking. That's what Levi's thinking. thinking. All right. He's been listening to a lot of Creed lately. Yeah. Can you tell? Wow. <laughs> All right, look at this. We've been talking and complaining that we haven't been able to design an entire system on a board and just slide it in until now. It's been weeks. Months. Months, it's really? It's been a drought. Oh, man. Yeah, since before, I don't know, since the winter sometime. Uh-huh. So, as you can see, that's everything. And also, as you can see, it doesn't actually take up too much of your storage space. 
And you, sure, sure, you lose a little bit here, but a lot of it's up in this area where you wouldn't be able to use anyway. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully the batteries will fit three across there. Hopefully. Hopefully. There's something uh, that JD and I came up with, which was um, your multipluses do have a remote on off switch. So these are gonna remain in the on position all the time. And these switches would be hard to get at once it's installed, obviously. But let's go over to the other side real quick. And yeah, right here, JD wired this up and this is gonna go in the raceway. And this is gonna be the on off switch for the inverters. So if you need to power cycle the inverters uh, because of a fault or who knows what else, uh, you can do it right there with one switch. All right, got uh, the screen mounted here. You can see that uh, the entire panel, we ended up pulling that off or can't kind of came off. So that'll be a little tricky to get back on there, but don't worry, we'll make her look good as new. And you can see all the cables that had to run through there. And uh, we ended up doing the, the uh, USB uh, adapter here like we've done before to a uh, 12 volt uh, power source and I want to show you where we nagged or nabbed nagged uh, nabbed the power source here uh, found two Wago connectors right here this was uh, one of them I think this is the black this one's the red and it both had open positions on it so we just used those and a lot of times behind these uh, main electrical cabinets, you can do that. And then also, yeah, you can see a hole up there. That is where we went through for the new solar lines. And then uh, I just cut this access panel here to run the solar and the power line down through there. And while we're talking about all that, and then as far as where those power lines go, so they go down underneath there, had to use a uh, multi-tool to do that. So we got underneath there, underneath there, and there's a bottom, a false bottom on this cabinet that's gonna go over that, so you're not gonna see any of that. And then we went from there, underneath the shower, and here's the multi-tool end I used. Worked out pretty well. So underneath there, and then from there into here. So actually we can pull a lot of this stuff out. Um, probably about ready to start putting some covers and stuff back on this now. The only thing left we have to do here is connect into the main uh, AC breaker box. Okay, up here on the roof, I'm sure many of you are wondering how exactly are they going to put 3,000 watts on a smaller bumper pull travel trailer? Well, this is how. <laughs> this guy, he's gotten it done. Mr. Uh, Hawaii Five-O here, or whatever. What was that show? Oh, you're not old enough to know. Sorry. Magnum PI? This is him right here. 18. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, we got five panels here, four panels here, and a fifth one right up there that we just figured out the mounting for that. Because we gotta go over the front cap just a little bit, we kinda made a hybrid triple mount there just because we really want to make sure that stays secure and uh, what else here oh and then we're going to do two more panels right in the middle here we did talk to the customer that's going to pose a challenge for being able to service this air conditioner for them it's more important to have two extra panels and if they want to run this air conditioner a lot i agree all right well here we are uh we've been hard at work for a couple of days i don't think we showed a lot of the work in progress because we were just trying to get it done. So as you can see, we did get it done. Got the batteries mounted in there. You can see the three green lights, they're all green and happy, fully charged. Uh, we'll go around the other side and show you how that turned out. Got uh, ventilation intake on this side, and, that, and then that, there's uh, ventilation pulling out on the other side. We'll go over there and take a look. And you can see here we got the ventilation pulling out here. Uh, got our thermostat there, Servo GX. Uh, and this one, uh, we also, I think we mentioned it before, we have an inverter switch here that turns on and off the, the inverters because uh, we are big on accessibility, but in this case, with the battery location, we did not have access to those switches there. And if those multipluses were to overload, you need to be able to uh, reset them or if they go into a fault state. So now we can do that with that. 
Got our solar breakers right here. Two solar chargers, 70 amp. Again, this is a 24 volt system. Uh, speaking of 24 volts, we got three of the Epic uh, Elite Series batteries here connected to a Lynx distributor running into our nice big uh, die hole breaker. We got the shunt here mounted there to measure the state of charge going into the Lynx distributor. And then from there, going to the multi pluses and the solar chargers and all that sort of stuff. Make sense? Hopefully. We really, we had to work hard on this one, but we did enjoy it quite a bit. Now going inside, uh, I don't remember how much we showed about this, but you know, we did have this panel completely open to get this in there and we had to drill a hole through there into back into this compartment. And then we have the solar coming up there as well. So this is all working good. And we did add a temperature sensor for the customer so they could t measure the temperature of that front compartment there. Just keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, it's looking good, looking good. Um, this is all put back together. Oh, uh, looks like I almost gave him a free roll of tape. And then here's the bear. He's uh, making sure the ground doesn't float away on us. He's staying nice and cool. How you doing, bud? <laughs> it's a hot one out there today. All right, all right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's get to what they really want. All right. So what you really want is this, right? How all this solar up here? Look at this. This is the most solar we've ever put on a uh, travel trailer like this. Worked out really well. Really proud of this one. Um, now, of course, I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna get from over there to over here? And well, the truth is you wouldn't really be able to, but I did make some, uh, some padded boards that you could put right in between here on the seams and you could walk across to get from one side to the other. Again, this is, 3,000 watts on the sport track here. We're about ready to take it outside and test it. Hopefully it tests good. All right, we're doing a load test on the system. We about got the air conditioning been running for a while and we're getting about 1,700 watts out of the solar right now. We have seen as much as 2,000 watts, but we are getting a little bit later in the day. It's probably about three, four o'clock right now. So that's just kind of the way that goes, but still pretty much running off of solar for the air conditioner. We are discharging a little bit, seven, amp, seven, eight amps, that'll be just fine. So there you have it. Uh, this is how you get 3000 watts onto a uh, sport truck, 24 volt system again, uh, 690 amp hours. Uh, just, it's been running the air conditioner great. Um, really like these two inverter systems if you wanna be able to run air conditioners, uh, plus microwave, plus kind of whatever else you want without having to think about it too much. Uh, Anyway, yeah. So thank you to, uh, I want to say thank you to uh, my son Levi working on this one, JD helping us out. And uh, of course, I don't, I mean, as I worked on it too, I don't know if I'm going to thank myself, but um, I think I did a good job. And uh, if you want to learn more, check us out at sotasolar.com, spelled like it is on my shirt there. And uh, we will see you next time. Leave any comments down below and uh, got some bear footage here for you if you want to see more. Oh, there he is. There's Mr. Bear. He's a hot dog right now. How are you doing, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye to everybody. See you next time.